Hi, welcome to the MuleSoft Tutorials. This is Akash and in this video we'll discuss about the cache mechanism in MuleSoft. So to start with I will create one new project. File create new Mule project. I will write cache proj. I will click on finish. So this will create one cache proj project in my studio. So basically why we use cache mechanism in Mule. So let's say uh, I have one situation where I'm trying to call database for the same component for the same ID for 10 times. So to so we have 10 calls for that particular database. So to reduce those calls, we'll store that value in cache and we'll get the value from the cache. So basically cache is used to reduce the number of output call and store the values in cache. In memory so to start with I will put one HTTP connector and here I will configure this HTTP connector and here I will try I will pass one URI parameter as a name I will save it now I will add one logger I will configure this as logger as start then we have one cache block scope so this scope is used to basically cache something in mule i will drag this over here so this is the block whatever you will put inside this block this will gonna cache so what i will do is uh, i will put uh, i will put one more logger after this to see how things are going and inside this I will put uh, one more logger let's say I will configure start cache and then I will create one variable variable name is let's say name var and the value is message dot inbound properties dot http uri params dot name the the one which we are passing as a uri parameter and now i will set my payload with that variable i will write flowvars dot name var and i will put one logger at the end of the cache I will write and cache and I will write over here and okay so we have one API which contains start logger and one cache block inside that we are storing a variable we are creating a variable and then we are setting that very setting a payload with that variable and we have one more logger which is end of the cache and then we have end of the program logger I will save it so we first we need to configure the cache i will click on cache block and I click on reference to a strategy i will click on plus here i need to provide what is the reference so we have in memory store we have text file store we have object store and we have manage store so currently i will do it in memory store this will store data in memory text file store is store data in text file temporary text file and object store is basically we have custom object we can store it into a custom object for now I will do it uh, in memory store I will click on finish finish and then I will click on ok over here I will save it so I will put two debug point over here at the start and at the end so that you will come to know like how things are how, how is the flow going I will debug gas mule project. I will say no for now. You can check the console if successful deployed or not. So yeah, we can see this successfully deployed. I will go to postman, I will hide 881, 
localhost 81 slash akash i'll say send so we got into the debug mode now we'll press over here right now we are in, inside cache we have logger we have variable as name bar as akash and now after this we are payload as akash and then we have one more logger and this that's it so we got the response as akash so now uh, we can check the logs so first it's start start cache and cache and end okay now i will put i will hit it again now we'll see how things are going so it goes into the first logger then f6 this will not go inside this because we already cached this per thing we'll press f8 this will go directly to the last logger i'll press f8 so in loggers we can see the start and and there is no start and end cache but if i will change my input to akash one then we'll see how things are going f6 again it doesn't go inside the cache and the payload is akash so this is something wrong so we basically what we had done we had changed our input again if if after changing the input we are getting the same response so what we'll do it will configure this cache and we'll put we'll click on edit and in key expression we need to put on what basis we want to cache that particular so we'll click on variable i will copy it and we'll click on cache we'll edit this and uh, in key expression i will put name once the name is changed we want to cache it okay i will save it now it's deploying so it's deployed uh, successfully i will hit it with the name akash we'll go to the debug mode we'll press f6 it says inside cache block And if I will put this as Akash one and I will send it, this should go inside the cache block. Yeah, we can see this is inside a cache block. So we have different output now. And last time we have Akash, now we have Akash one output. So in this way, basically we can use cache and uh, we can use cache and uh, According to our need, we can cache our objects and uh, can cache the response and you can use it later. So I will put it again, I will send again. Then this time we'll see what will happen. This will not go inside the cache bar because it's already cached. I will press F8. Yeah, we got the response as one. Yeah, we can check the logs. See, it doesn't go inside the cache block. Start and start and. So in this way, basically, we can use cache and we can utilize this uh, mechanism to fast our process and to reduce the number of calls. So that's it for this video. See you next video. Thank you.